you ever think Joe Biden, do you ever think that he thinks to himself that he's just sitting in the White House, right? No aides, no mm -hmm. one around him. Mm -hmm. And he just thinks to himself like, yeah. I finally made it. I finally made it, yeah, right? And then like years 30 dream. seconds goes by and then he goes, where am I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I finally made it. He so, says again and again and again. So, <laughs> <laughs> Every two minutes. It's like, like well, a goldfish in the White House. Yeah, Joe Biden's <laughs> life is basically just memento, but it never ends. You know what I mean? Where he's just, everything is backwards and he's just always trying to figure out like, who killed my wife? You know what I mean? That's what he's just always doing. Trying to find Teddy. So Joe Biden did this uh, interesting thing that everybody talks about every time it happens. He fell on a mm -hmm. set of stairs. Now, everybody says that this is somehow remarkable because he is old, mm -hmm. right? Now, I used to say this as well, and then I moved on to moved into an apartment complex. And Spike, as you know this, the apartment complex that I moved into, even though it is ungodly expensive to live there, the elevators break down. And for some reason, the people who run that apartment complex, the vendor always doesn't understand how to fix right. the elevator. How many units are in your building, would you say? So, I don't know, 70, 70 or 70, and you've got two elevators? Two elevators. Right, but just two cars. That's it. Right. And to 70 residents. It's a nightmare. So, I had to start taking the stairs. And one of the things I've learned is that stairs, contrary to popular belief, are indeed death traps. And so, people will <laughs> fall. And if you filmed every single time I tripped on those stairs and you put them in a compendium or a, a series of vignettes, right. people would say Jack is an uncoordinated mess. Unfit for the job. Unfit yeah, for the job. Would, right? His mental state is deteriorating. Yeah. When Joe Biden does it, though, right, for some reason, I, for whatever reason, everybody's like, ha look at the guy who fell on the stairs. We all fall on stairs. Mm -hmm. That's like making fun of people for getting ear water in their ear when they get into a pool. And they're like, ha ha. But anyway, this is hilarious because Joe Biden was actually <laughs> on his way. Look at this. This is just a classic Biden moment. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, this is old. This is, this is, uh, oh, oh, look at that. Right? Yeah. And this, this is a funny thing about this. They will play this on Fox News on repeat. Jacob, can we kill the sound on this? Let me let me do a, a rendition of what happens on Fox News. Kill the sound, all right? Mm -hmm. And then put that clip back up on the screen so that we can see it. And I just want you to run it on a loop, right? Just never stop. Keep that train going. And what I would do, let us just say if I was Greg Gutfeld, mm -hmm. is we would just roll this over and over and over and over again. And I would make about five or six jokes about Biden being old. And then I would just laugh all the way to the bank, all the way to my mega mansion or whatever it all is. All the way to number one at 11. This is the entire, right. this is what they're going to be talking about on the five for the next week. Because this is super important that an 80 year old man stumbled on the stairs. Hey, breaking news. Old people have hard times ambulating. Anybody hear about that? Here's an expert witness. This is a doctor from Stanford Medical. He's an orthopedic surgeon. What does this say about you? Well, it tells me that Joe Biden's got a bad hip and maybe he's got some mobility issues, possibly brain damage, maybe even dementia. Maybe that's not even really Joe Biden. Maybe it's an alien who's experiencing stairs for the first time. You know, we've analyzed 35 years of uh, stair footage from Senator, then Vice President Biden. Yeah. Not a single stair incident. Ah. Oh. 35 years now this guy whoever he is whoever he is can't navigate stairs how much more proof do we need this is as important as the Zabruder footage where we can clearly <laughs> see this is the, that the scooter footage right that, here that bigfoot is that is indeed a man it, it in his a suit bigfoot. you're right right and wow. so the, this is what we're this is what we've come to now is a society we can get rid of this jacob but this before is, you well, before you do <laughs> let's we, the other has they're not even using the big stairs the Th these are the stairs. senior stairs that go up to the bottom of the plane. This is my he thought. He can't even navigate these. This is my thought about this. Can we just get that poor man an escalator or that little ramp that oh, we Oh, the, the scooter chair. The, what do they call that chair? Yeah, the see, end, the, it's the one where you sit. It's, and it goes right Yeah, the old up. lady sits in the chair, and then she goes... And then it goes, Ooh. right. You know why they don't have one? Why? Because those people only advertise on Fox. <laughs> and Joe doesn't watch Fox, right? 
Joe probably hasn't invested in gold. Right. Joe probably does, he doesn't have a chair stair. He doesn't have a which lawnmower. Was, which would be essential, right? All right. So the other thing that happened at this thing was that he's Joe Biden is on his way to collect checks. I mean, campaign uh, in California. <laughs> I think you got it right the first time. Oh, did I? <laughs> Joe Biden is on his way to, to show for money. I mean, campaign in California. Slip of the tongue. Uh, and he was talking. Someone asked him about this question, and everybody's upset about this question. I thought this was a fine question to ask the President of the United States. Okay. Right? So here he comes, his dark brand and his aviator sunglasses, and here's a question that he gets asked. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Well, I'm looking for I'm looking at you. We're looking at you. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What I came to tell you was... I told you we'd be announcing sanctions on Russia. Oh, so base. We'll have a major package announced on Friday. And I'll be happy to sit with you all when doing that, okay? There's a look of confusion and fear in that poor man's eyes. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I love this guy. That's that's my guy right there. For, for the because that was kind of the audio was kind of low. He said. Yeah. Mr. President, you're going to California. Is this to have a plan B? Yeah, exactly. Are you going to ask Gavin yeah. about being plan B in case you're not up to the gig? You're right. And he's like, I'm looking at you. Uh, yeah. You're my plan B. Hey. You're ready to be the commander in chief. Hey, pull my finger. <laughs> hey, was, why does Joe Biden always just seem like a little drunk? Jacob, can you do me a favor? <laughs> Kill the audio on it and start it over again. Because look at the difficulty that Joe Biden has with the technology that we call sunglasses. Watch the difficult. This okay. is a Herculean task that he is complete. Look at this. Arms go up. They come up. Look at. Does anybody take off their sunglasses? Two hands, making sure that it's safety protocol, safety first here. Right. right? right. Look at that. Look at just the. That's not a man, right? That's an alien. That's. A, I, you know what? As, now that you pointed out. <laughs> Stay upright, right. one foot, left foot, right foot, hold right. glasses. I think it's if, if he knows <laughs> that if he drops the glasses in front of a, run, a bank of running cameras, yeah. he's never going to be able to pick them up. No. There's no way he gets over to pick up these glasses no. and back up again. Well, he, this is what happens. He drops the sunglasses, mm -hmm. he bends over, he not bending back no, up again. No, I'm saying. He's probably <laughs> taking a header right into the press court. <laughs> and that footage is tomorrow's feature on Fox for five straight hours. I will say this to, to wrap this up. I am glad that we live in the United States where we can make fun of our elected leaders and not get put in Antarctic prisons. Amen. Right? Amen. So I don't care how cheap the groceries are or how, how if I get my dime back after I put the cart back. Right, exactly. I just <laughs> Someone's got to send a note out to Tucker Carlson that Kraken Wise about POTUS is better than $100 bread or whatever. <laughs>